Hi, this is Lloyd Reber, and in this video I'm going to show you how to export and import video analysis source files while using my video analysis tool. The video analysis tool manages all files as you are building and saving your projects. However, it's always a good idea to back up your work by exporting a source file containing all of a project's data in a form that can then be imported back into the tool if needed at a later time to restore a project that might have been deleted or became corrupted. Source files are saved as simple text files so they can also be easily copied and shared with others who are using my video analysis tool. This provides a simple way for two or more people to collaborate on a project. Simply choose the option export source file located at the top of the screen. A dialog box opens that explains a little bit about what a source file is all about. Then just click OK and you'll be given the option to save the file with any name you want to any location you want on your computer. OK, I'm going to save this as my MOOC project and I can see it's already pointing to my video analysis projects folder. I'll just click Save. Let's take a quick look to see what exactly has been saved to that folder. So there it is. Let me open it. Yeah, there's a uh, just a simple text file called my MOOC project. Now let's take a look at how we can import that source file back into the tool. Okay, I'll switch back to the video analysis tool. And what I need to do is go back to the home screen. So I'm going to go ahead and choose save and go home. And here you can see the option to import source file. Let me choose that. So all I need to do is point to a source file. So I'll choose the file that I just exported. Choose to open. It then automatically builds and opens that video analysis project. I'll now choose to save and go home. I'll go and open a save project. and You'll notice that there are now two projects with the name MOOC. That's because I had the original project and then I then opened a source file that contained a project with the same name. I'm going to choose to uh, sort these by creation date. It always puts the most current project on top. So I'll open that MOOC project. I think what I'll do is I'll rename it as a MOOC version 2. And I'll save and go home. So if I choose to open a save project, you'll see that's now showing as the renamed project. The main purpose of source files is to back up or archive existing projects and to share a project with another person. It's also very important to note that the other person needs to have a copy of the video on which the video analysis is based. Well, that concludes this short introduction to exporting and importing source files. View the other quick start videos to see how to use other features and options available in Lloyd's video analysis tool.